And how you guys doing in California and other cities and states? You know, in reference to cities and states of people that know me, uh, there needs to be people out there to tell these Indiana satellite controllers or these government people to come out there to California or some other city and state so they can tell these people about who I am and who my parents are, you know, because these, these government people are terrorizing my life with their satellites and they're mutilating my teeth. And I got kidnapped from California. And this government man was trying to make up shit about my life, trying to accuse me of shit in California. You understand that? This, this psycho man has been fucking up my teeth and face. And there's a lot of people in California that know a lot about me. I've never been involved in nothing criminal, never done no drugs, nothing like that at all. But this satellite man is still terrorizing me, and they're still burning my back molars. And they're still burning my front teeth. They put a big finger poke in the fucking teeth. Now, there was a video, and uh, I don't know if it's Al Corby that's involved in satellite mutilations of my teeth, but if he is, he would need to get arrested by the California military or the Beverly Hills Police Department or whoever. Because remember that video? It was on my Sprint phone. And they kept communicating that it was Al Corby that was trying to steal my mother and father's estates in California. And they were burning my teeth. And I guess he's tied in with Frank Sinatra or something. I'm not sure. Just telling you what somebody communicated. And remember that video? Because they were poking me in the teeth. And it was like, and I said, my teeth are real, real teeth, real teeth. Remember that video? And then these motherfuckers kept doing it more. But they kept communicating that Al Corby, who claimed he was on Oprah Winfrey's show too, and you know, in reference to him attacking me if he's involved in that, Oprah Winfrey can have him arrested. You know, Oprah knows who I am. Oprah's even shown up on some of my jobs where I've worked at here in Indianapolis in a disguise, of course. Right? Is that what Oprah has done? Yep. Uh, so, in reference to Al Corby being on the Oprah Winfrey show, and I'm not sure if. If my mother, uh, Oprah knew my mother. Oprah knew Doris Duke and Oprah knew Jenny Jones, too. And, uh, you know, so in reference to if Al Corby is tied in with the finger poking in the teeth or accusing against me, Oprah Winfrey can have him arrested. So could the Jenny Jones show and Phil Donahue could have him arrested, too. If he, or anybody that's been doing this to me. Because most of those talk show hosts knew my mother. You guys know that, right? This is general information because that fucking satellite man has fucked up my teeth again. And I have royal diplomatic immunity. Al Corby didn't have royal diplomatic immunity. And if Al Corby or anybody, no matter who anybody is, if they're tied in with somebody conspiring against me, the laws of Elliot Ness can have them arrested. You know, Oprah Winfrey being a talk show host, she knows who I am. And so does a lot of other people. Other celebrities can have these people arrested for damaging my teeth and face. I'm friends with some celebrities. The Royal Protocol, oh yeah, with a lot of celebrities. But you know, the Royal Protocol is in the media. And it says, don't damage nothing on my body. It says, don't even touch me, American government. You know that, right? Or anybody else trying to hurt me or trying to mark on my body or trying to mutilate looks. So, you know, this is general information. Now, Corby, I'm going to tell you, I don't know if you're involved in this or not, but these satellite controllers have mentioned your name before, and they just mentioned it earlier, too. And that's why it was being mentioned now, because obviously somebody is speaking for you or trying to say who you are or something, because if you've been involved in hurting me, you know, the laws of Elliot Ness and the California courts would have to prosecute you. I've never done nothing to you or anybody else. And if you make up shit on me, whoever anybody is, they can get prosecuted. I've never been a criminal, never done drugs, not gay, never been gay. But in reference to these people in Indiana holding me hostage and acting like they were trying to interrogate something or they were trying to interrogate me when they've been spying on me every fucking day since they kidnapped me from California. And in reference to Indiana government holding me hostage, 
the fact that there is physical injuries. And I had physical injuries back in the 80s from these people. So there is no legal way at all, no court way, no process of government of any kind for why they'd be holding me hostage. There is no legal merit in any fucking way. And there's no legal way for them to steal from me either. That's the whole point. There's no law for them to be doing this activity of fucking up my teeth and face with their satellites or their handheld lasers. California knows I don't do drugs. Why, is, why does this person in Indiana keep making up drugs on me? Does California know? Does anybody know? You know, these people got to go to court. California needs to tell these people, hey, they want to know something about me. They need to go out to California so California can tell them things about me.